Well, I'm away in rural Ireland at the moment, uh, County Clare, and that may explain why the last week's vlog did not go up on time, and also why I've been very quiet on the whole Jinteki.net thing that has suddenly erupted. Uh, we don't have much signal up here in terms of wireless, all that kind of stuff, but got some sort of data this morning and got a tweet from a subscriber asking me what I thought of the whole Jinteki.net thing and what it would mean for the channel. Now, I haven't had a lot of time to look into things, did get a quick read up on it, but uh, I thought I should, you know, say something because it doesn't make sense for me to be completely silent when my entire channel is based on Jinteki.net. So, yes, obviously that, if it was out and if it stays down, it'll cause massive issues for me. Um, what the channel will do afterwards, I'm not entirely sure. Because uh, I'm not great at recording tournament coverage. I haven't really done the whole, like, pack thoughts, things like that, because I don't feel like I'm the knowledgeable enough source. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait for Chris M to decide on something and then copy him. Uh, Kiv, if you're not familiar with him. But you should be. So yeah, not great news to wake up to. And hopefully Min will kind of wake up, be hungover and go, Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I'll take back everything. Uh, we've all had that morning. Morning after the night before where we kind of go, Oh, I regret everything. Uh, let's just forget it all happened. So, fingers crossed. Uh, it's Sunday morning at the moment, so the plan currently is we're going to leave here. I'll get home and I'll record a short video with my initial thoughts on it. Um, possibly a bit more thought out than these initial thoughts. But, try and address the whole thing. Break my silence on the issue. And fingers crossed, they may all be quite similar, I don't know. We'll see. I'll car ride home about an hour and a half to work out what I'm going to say. So, hopefully I come up with something genius. Hopefully. Wish I had a batch of games to new upload. Well, I fell asleep in the car ride home, um, but I woke up to the better news that Jinteki was back online. Uh, my friend Mike, who plays Netrunner with me, was in the car as well. And uh, yeah, had the good news for me, which was much, much better than the news that I'd woken up to that morning, uh, which I briefly mentioned. So if you're not aware of what happened, because uh, I was quite unaware until earlier today, uh, Min, the guy who basically built Jinteki and runs it and makes sure it's updated and everything else, um, was on the chat last night and basically was kind of saying he's tired, he doesn't like the way Netrunner is going with some of the cards, uh, he doesn't think it's balanced. Um, just seemed really frustrated, really downtrodden, and um, was talking about how you know he's put so much time into it, not only playing, uh, he's an excellent competitor, but also the development of Jinteki.net. And when you look at was it was last year, uh, Fantasy Flight wanted it taken down and tried to do everything that they could to get it taken offline. Um, and that was before it was as integral as it has become because in the last year like a lot of people were using Octocon and have switched over because Jinteki.net improved just so so much uh, the effort was really really put in and yeah a lot of people just switched sides uh, to the point that Octocon is now unfortunately gone so sorry DB0 uh, but yeah I can understand exactly where Min is coming from I mean he put so much time into this put so much effort into it and I mean it's all unpaid there are donations things like that something that i really need to do but in a sense it's thankless like i'm not i'm sure a lot of people go you know thank you very much but at the same time it's not officially recognized and it is a great platform it should definitely be picked up uh, if i just feel like I need to do something similar i can see why they're not there are some people who play solely online i uh, could eat it sales things like that but maybe they could do like you know all dart uh other cards as you know microtransactions but yeah like he said that it's custom relationships and things like that and anything that you're going to put a lot of time and effort into whether that be a site like that videos uh, your job uh, schooling sports anything like that it is going to take its toll you know like he's trying to explain to a significant other that uh, he might want to go out for dinner but you know a card like rebirth has come out and he has to recode things or Nerds will get angry. So yeah, it's unfortunate that it came to that. The server went down and it did get picked back up today. But as I right, as I talk about this now, it seems to have tripped over itself again. Hopefully it's not as dramatic. Um, hopefully it'll come back. But yeah, it makes you think of you know, what do we do if Jinteki isn't a thing now that Octagon has also stopped being updating. And who knows? I mean, in-person games, obviously the best thing to do. But not practical, and certainly not something that you can just do it like, well, I'm awake at four in the morning, or, you know, I have a lunch break, why not play a game? 
Yeah, that answers the question as to what this channel would do otherwise. I don't know, it would probably stop working because otherwise I just have vlog footage, which... So I was playing as earlier, trying to get my head around this whole uh, controlling the message deck and asked him to show me some tech that he's been working on against it. I definitely am going to play around with it myself. Um, not going to show it on the channel, I think, because if he wants to break it out at a future tournament or whatever, uh, I don't think it'd be fair and it wasn't my idea. So, you know, not going to claim credit for it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, he's got some really interesting ideas. Definitely some cards that should see play. And yeah, I'm looking forward to testing it out as well. I was playing as controlling the message, just trying to get my head wrapped around to that side of the game. And yeah, it didn't fare so well against his uh, anti-deck. Plus, he seems to have the greatest draws of all time. Aside from that, he was also talking about you know, my commentary in general. Apparently I say the word problematic a bit too much. And I know that I will occasionally just uh, fall back on old reliable phrases and uh, words. Uh, trademarks of sorts. Uh, in my FIFA days it used to be not too shabby. Not too shabby. And apparently at the moment it is problematic. So that is problematic for me. Something I'm definitely going to have to work on. Um, so yeah, hopefully I won't overuse certain words in the future. But it is a difficult habit to avoid, especially when you're trying to mentally focus on other aspects such as the gameplay itself but good to know about something to keep in mind and hopefully work on as well so i've realized that i suck against particular matchups particular ids uh, which may be very obvious to you if you've been watching the channel for a while industrial genomics for example making my brain fall asleep controlling the message that is the latest culprit and then i forget about certain angles that some decks or archetypes take uh, like apocalypse out of cage for example i tend to forget about it and then i'll be like oh i need to the defense scoring server heavily, put all my Caprice upgrades in there, things like that. And we'll then forget about Apocalypse being a thing. So if they make a normal run on HQ or R&D, even if I have Chrisium there, I'll kind of go, oh, what, what's the worst could happen here? And then I lose everything. So I've heard about an idea. I can't remember his name, unfortunately, but I will put a link below. Uh, it was a notebook idea, basically, where the person takes details of the matches that they've played, the losses in particular, and tries to learn from that evolve over time and make sure that they don't make the same mistakes again. I'd prefer, well, this is how I also learn, but I need to be able to check back on it. Uh, it's one thing having all the videos there. I'm not going to watch hours of footage of myself in the lead up to a tournament. But if I had like a handy reference point of, you know, the ID, things to look out for, giveaways as to this is the angle that they're taking as opposed to, as opposed to this. Uh, for example, the NBN decks, sometimes it's too late before you realize what's happening. But if you were to see one card that's in a particular deck and is not in another, uh, it might make things a little bit easier. So I'm going to try this, uh, see what I can do at least, because, you know, Nationals is two weeks away. I'd like to make a good showing or as good as I can. And obviously trying to get as many games in as possible, the old practice thing. A little more difficult when I'm trying to do videos as well, when I, I don't want to bore you to tears of two weeks of nothing but Palana and probably Wizard or Valencia or something like that. So, um... Plus, I've got to keep on my secret deck tech that will amaze everyone. Um, so, yeah, I've got to try and balance that. And I think just taking notes of things, like if Kev is playing against someone and they do something clever or cute, just something to watch out for. So I'm going to try that and see how I get on. And, yeah, definitely learn from the mistakes that I've made. Uh, I had a game today where I forgot about a card's second ability. Uh, that will be going up on channel You've probably have seen it by this point. Uh, it is the Wayland game that I was playing. I think it's a good point to, to reference back to over time as well. So we'll see how that all works out. So I've been doing a lot of work on the Satellite Grid event calendar and the connected Twitter account. And in my humble opinion, uh, the last few days have shown why it's necessary and why it can be a valuable resource to people. So the last while has been full of uh, Bring Another Brit to World announcements, uh, qualifier announcements, I should say and nationals as well. Now I've been scouring, you know, various Facebook groups, um, websites, any announcement places that I could find, basically. And still, even today, a friend of mine, Ken from Dublin as well, fellow Netrunner player, uh, chimed in with a couple of region or a couple of nationals that he knew about, either because he's been there before or just saw them in, you know, form thread, things like that. So, the challenge at the moment is trying to get the site into like public consciousness where an event organizer is going okay checklist of places to promote and it's a case of i need to get onto stimhack i need to get onto reddit i need to post in netrunner geeks and the uk netrunner page and whatever other regional one that they do but also 
hey I need to hit up Mark um, either on Twitter or email or some manner of thing and uh, let me know the details as well because while I'm pretty vigilant and on Facebook quite a lot you know there's a chance I'll be missing something or like the weekend's just gone I'll be away without internet access so that is the challenge but hopefully enough of me you know putting the comment of added when someone posts about an event will help put that up and publicize it a bit and hopefully people will kind of use that resource as well Something non netrunner related, as unusual as that is for this vlog. Uh, I've been doing archery lessons the last few weeks and I'm beaming after tonight because I actually did pretty well towards the end of it. Got some consistent shots off and pretty happy. I'll even put up a shot here. So I've got one eight, three nine, no, two nines and three tens. Math is still not my strong subject. Um, but yeah, really happy with how it's getting on. If only there weren't cards such as Sharpshooter or Archer already, I could become a world champion and design a card. I was watching Eurogamers late to the party this week and they were covering Hearthstone, a game that I haven't played but was kind of curious about so I decided to download it and give it a whirl. But Mark, aren't you supposed to be practicing for nationals you say? Yes, this was the worst possible time to download it and start playing it. did play it for a few hours yesterday, probably more than I should have, but I've enjoyed it. On the flip side I think Netrunner may have ruined some other card games for me. Uh, Netrunner is the first card game that I've gotten into, never played Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic or anything like that before and people have talked to me in the past about, you know, mitigating variants and things like that and how Netrunner is much better at it than other games um, because I'm used to, in Netrunner, drawing my way out of trouble or at least trying to draw for an answers or in some cases just going draw, draw, draw. Uh, in Hearthstone you don't have that option uh, so there's been games where I've known for, for a while that I'm doomed and don't see a way out. Maybe that's just getting used to the game systems. Maybe that's an actual flaw. I'm not sure. I haven't played enough of it. But anyway, I digress. Um, one thing that it did kind of highlight, though, was how Fantasy Flight could do a digital model of Netrunner and maybe monetize some of it as well. It's something worth looking at considering the issues with Jinteki.net that I kind of talked about a little bit earlier. Um, it's not fair on him to be trying to do it himself. It is such a great community tool. And it's something the Fancy Flight should be looking at themselves. Now obviously they have to do it right, and naturally they'll want to make money out of it. But Hearthstone kind of gives you a couple of indications as to how to do it, and so do other games that you look out there at. For starters, I would say, you know, make it free to download, free to play. Hearthstone does have a different model, it is a collectible card game, but it does drafts as well. So I mean, pay into drafts, have a fee that you can pay into events, uh, if you want something like the stim hack side of things where they want to be able to reward people. So, you know, eight people pay into a pot, uh, the winner takes it home, and Fantasy Flight takes a cut of whatever as well. And then you can sell things like alt arts, um, profile pictures, you know, just cosmetic items that don't change the game, but, I mean, are immensely popular. I mean, just look at how much money has been made by, like, Riot and Valve and things like that on hats and collectible items and uh, special little things like that. Now, obviously, with the whole Counter Strike Go controversies of late, you'll have to work around certain things, but it could be something worth looking at, I think. And naturally it'd be nice if Min could get involved, if that's what he wants to do, um, because again, as I said, he's been such a, a hero to the community for quite some time, you know, really stepped up when people were kind of saying, ah, Jinteki isn't that great, and then all of a sudden overnight it was the place to be, and it's just been so functional and so integral to the game in quite some time. It's been a bit of a roller coaster week. Uh, started on a very low note with uh, the possible Jinteki.net ending closure, um, but it's picked up. We've got regionals to look forward to in a week's time, so not much time to prepare or boot camp, but hopefully heading in the right direction. Hopefully won't make a mockery of myself. And some interesting games going up on Bad Publicity and my own channel as well, if I do say so myself. Uh, tried to mess around with Mirror and Prepaid Voicepad, but no. <laughs> Maybe go stealth like everyone else has been talking about. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed and hope you've enjoyed the other games going up from Jinteki.net over the week. Now it is time to build for nationals. Unfortunately I'm missing out on the team of servers, the president of servers, uh, team tournament. And the Friday, heading over that evening. But looking forward to the Saturday at the very least. Maybe Sunday. Maybe Sunday will be a very relaxing day. Who knows? We'll see how we get on. I don't know what to aim for. Sometimes people go in with, you know, I expect to get this, 
but I have no idea what to expect from this tournament. It is so much bigger, uh, so much grander, and probably more competitive than anything I've faced so far. I mean, the UK seems to be one of the hotspots for talent, so yeah, something to watch out for. No matter what, I'll bring you along the whole journey and show you the whole event. But in the meantime, you got one more boring vlog to look forward to before you get the, the event recap and uh, vlog from the day itself. Look forward to that.